You haven't played Rust in a while, but that hot girl from OTV and Shroud are busy playing it. And Shroud's pretty cool. Oh my god! So you decide to install it. Things look different. Biggest things are different. I still have my rock and my torch, but there's a strange homeless man trying to sell me a boat and people have cars now. Those people have electricity and guns. I want electricity and guns. So I use my rock to get wood and I use the wood to make a better tool. I use that tool to get garbage to get more stuff. Scrap. So I go to Scientist City and swap my scrap for a chainsaw. Technology. Chainsaws remove forests. I use the trees to build a house. Things are nice, but people keep coming inside using fire. Morning! Make more tools, get more things, go to places that have stuff and grind it up for more stuff to make more things. This is cool. I make a boat and go to a bigger boat. This is scary. They have stuff and this thing. I learn this thing and make more like it. Go to the man with the electricity. He's sleepy and homeless. Evicted. Take his stuff and his guns and his car. My car. I want more, so I do it again. Boom. Evict. Stuff. Repeat. My base is huge now. It's a small city. You need a heli to access your stuff because your loot room's too big and a refrigerator compound filled with meat because grenade launches sound funny. A dedicated roadway leading to your room of large boxes where you keep your large boxes and roof cannons at the ready to keep the sky cars away. The scientists quit the outpost and work for you now because you pay better. And the homeless man now brings boats to your house as a peace offering. You've created a dynasty, an empire, a self-farming, self-protecting paradise where you have all the stuff and everyone else has nothing. Not even their rock and their torch. Mine. You gotta ask yourself, now what? <laughs>